And I know that that a lot of people have offered, oh, crowdfunding to help legal expenses and everything. But that would, it became clear that I would have to reveal the name in order to accept that. Our great friend, super intellect, wonderful man himself. I'm sorry for assuming your gender. It's Warren Smith. Hey, Warren, what's up, buddy? Hey, guys. Thanks for having me on again. It's always How's fun. everything going, man? It's it's going okay, actually. Yeah, it's been an interesting few weeks, but it's I'm uh, it's always enjoyable to be here and hang out with you guys, so... Well, we're glad you're here, man. Like we we know uh, a lot of people. We we know we've heard the seen the news when it comes to you and everything that's happened. You were you popped off viral uh, virally about four months ago, speaking your common sense and logic. And uh, now, about a, what a week or so ago, ultimately, um, you have I, I, I like public. Yeah, you you were fired from your job. Yeah, you so say. <laughs> yeah. I'll, uh, but I wanted to give you an opportunity because we can't talk about that stuff specifically because there's legal reasons why. But I did want to give you the opportunity to say what you wanted to say uh, before we dig into everything else so people don't have questions. Yeah, I mean, the legal reasons, I just, it's not so much legal reasons. I just, I need to just tread carefully because I'm sure they're going to be pouring over every word I say and looking for any misstep. But I do appreciate this chance just to, because I know with that video that I posted, it was like a few days ago, a week ago. I know that left a lot of um, unanswered questions because I was just mm. trying to, it was the day after it happened when I recorded that. And I just wanted to say, really, I didn't want to get too deep into it. So I know there's a lot of speculation. I do just want to just say what was articulated to me as it was articulated to me without speculating and take responsibility for whatever I've done. And so the reason for it, that I was fired was I did the same thing that I did in that viral video. So as a video editing teacher, we record a lot of video and I had a very interesting exchange that was so similar. It, it was almost the exact same exchange with a completely different student who wasn't aware of the viral video before recording. And then when he found out he was really excited about it. He's like, well, yeah, he's like, yeah, we should share that. And I was like, well, <laughs> it's a little bit of scrutiny on everything. And like, it's, uh, there's been some tension. So I, we got, I was like, we got to get parental permission. He's like, oh, my parents will care of their teachers and they'll be fine. I was like, well, I just want to see confirmation. So we got that right. confirmation, but yeah, I just thought it was very interesting because it was so identical. And a lot of people thought that initial video was staged and that the fact that it could happen, happen again, in almost the exact same pattern with almost the exact same outcome. This exchange was around whether JK Rowling was actually racist or not, but mm. almost the exact same thing. I was like, oh, well, that's that might be worth sharing. So I went through those steps. Eight days later, yeah, they they called me in and uh and fired me for it because they said there was a I was supposed to check with um there was a new step added. I was supposed to check with a specific person that I wasn't aware of needing to do that. And there was a one sentence email that went out and um, like shortly after the viral video before going into the meeting with all the lawyers, I was, um, what was communicated to me. So there was a box to be checked. I thought I checked all the boxes, missed one. So they got fair and square technically. So I, um, yeah. And I don't blame the, there's a lot of good people at that school, a lot of good teachers, a lot of good students, which is why I'm not disclosing anything publicly about the name of the school. I just don't see it doing any, doing any good. And I know that that a lot of people have offered, oh, crowdfunding to help legal expenses and everything. But that would, it became clear that I would have to reveal the name in order to accept that. So I said, I'm just going to come up with this money on my own. And um, yeah, so I am watching like a locals if people do want to support that in any ways. But, um, but yeah, it's, that's pretty much all there, there is to it. <laughs> What is the uh, what is the link to the locals? What's the URL? Uh, Secretscholars.locals.com. All right, awesome. Yeah. And is that is that live now? It is yeah. It's not much on it, but there's a few things I'm just trying to add. I don't like taking money from people without adding value or giving something in return. So sure, yeah, stuff to it. Add more and more, but there's a few things. Well, that's awesome. Um, I'm glad that you're uh, look as I. It's funny. I, I think I don't know if I said this on the uh, on the show or not, but I, I know I said this to you either publicly or privately. Like, there's going to be a time where you need to where you're going to need to make a decision because YouTube is going so well, and it looks like that decision was kind of forced for you. Um, 
And hey, you uh, did say that. You said that two days before I got fired. You're like, I have a feeling time is coming where you're gonna have to make a choice. It wasn't necessarily <laughs> a choice, but you were right. Well, listen, I'm telling you, you're gonna land on your feet. I promise you that. And when you when the initiative time is is just you know when you're ready for that to start, we got your back. Everybody's got your back, and you're gonna find that just like everybody else who's quote unquote been canceled or fired or whatever in this space, whenever that happens, everybody lands on their feet and everybody ends up better than they were a year before. You know, so um, I promise you, it's you know, you feel like you're in the muck right now, but it will be all right. I promise you that. Well, thank you. So, I can't thank you enough. That really means a lot. And you guys have made all the difference, truly. So thank you.